Kressel. Why are you doing this? Money? Stupid question. Well, it was to start with. What changed? I learned about you, Regis. When I took Baxter's memory into my own, your decision to ruin the project led to my... to Baxter's downward spiral. You aren't Baxter. Stop this, Kressel. Some philosophers say that what we are is based on our memories and experiences. If that's the case, then I'm only a little bit Baxter, but just enough. Why keep any of his memories for yourself? He had the most amazing, enthralling lust for revenge. I had to be a part of it, like a great work of cooperative art. It's an incredible motivator, like nothing else. A motivator? For what? Well, I knew you were on my tail. I needed a way to get rid of you. Before I'd even finished with Baxter's lifeless old corpse, a plan had come to me. One that satisfied my goals and his own. You knew we were after you? I'm working for Galatea, one of the most important people in the centralized government. Central knew what you were up to, and therefore so did Galatea. It was kind of funny watching you work. You're gonna run out of ammo eventually. Cell agents will be here to back us up, too. You'll have to give up eventually. Make it sooner rather than later. Hmm, I don't think so. My colleague is just about to rewrite Central to her own tune. We'll see if it's still so eager to prosecute me then. Heck, it'll probably order you to give me a VIP escort from the Corps. You're deluded. We'll see. I just need to hold you off until she does her job. Why Latha? Why did you try to get me to kill her? Okay, that was just artistic flourish. I just learned where she was from Galatea. She wanted me to confirm it, but I thought of something better. You disobeyed her? She was pretty nuked off, I can tell you that. But it seemed like too good an opportunity to waste. I could get you, the sanctimonious Charlie Regis, to kill the embryo you'd put so much in. How would that be for irony? Oops. You're a monster. Didn't mean to skip that. Even if I fail miserably here, I've probably helped to ruin your relationship with your daughter. <laughs> this guy is really sick. Which means, in part, Baxter was really sick. Because some of his sickness comes from Baxter, but obviously not all of it. We can get you help. Yeah, I'm sure that's going to work. You need help. Nah, I'm fine. Thanks. Medical help. Your judgment is compromised. You're driven by Baxter's desire for revenge. You have no idea. It's addictive. The sense of accomplishment. I'm winning for two, baby. Why Latha? Okay, that I she but it I how would your even Hey. Okay, so I figured out the whole power thing, and I do have a grenade, but beyond that, I'm not sure what to do. Can I throw it into the turbines? You can't trust your aim to get a grenade close enough, but if you could get, get a grenade into the machinery somehow... I'm thinking the platforms. But they're not moving. Mm, I don't think so. Whoa! Ah, so this is probably what I've been missing. Latha can use the chair. Somehow, Jinzel is writing a pirated connection into the system, but it doesn't look particularly stable. Mandala! You, you two-faced lying backstabber! I apologize, Mandala. You sold me out! They knew I was coming! What did you get out of it? How much was I worth? Mandala, please. You are going to regret crossing me. I have had enough of being used. Please, be reasonable. Get nuked. The only reason you're even here is because you're still relaying through me. Remember this moment. It's the last time you'll ever see the inside of Central. She seemed apologetic. Was she actually trying to help somehow by leading me into this trap? I don't know. What is this? 
Good evening, Miss Sesame. Central, are you connected to this system as well? From a certain frame of reference. The system is central. You are currently interfaced with my core processor. The room full of orange globes is your core processor? Only part of it. My processor spans the top five floors of Fulcrum Tower. The room in which your body resides is my organic processor network. The simulated environment you currently perceive is an interface that covers my architecture. I've only ever seen organic computing at the microscale. What's with the huge globes? Those are neural processors. Each is filled with specialized tissue clusters. Suspended in wetware, they represent thousands of mines worth of processing capability. You use brain tissue? Of a specially designed nature in vast quantities. Similar to that found within your own cerebrum. Why would they create you like that? It allows for a unique structure to my thought and to my development. Central is no mere civic manager. I was created as the next stage in artificial intelligence. Wait, you said our brain tissue is similar. You are Lotha Sesame SN134244. We share a common genesis in Dr. Vargas' experiments in 2067. You're using my gray matter? Inaccurate. We both began from the same embryo, which was split into three triplets. One was developed to produce large quantities of neural tissue. And the others were spares? As the modification to the brain structure took place before the pluralization, we share a number of traits which enhance our comprehension of data. It's funny. All my life I kept telling people I was made for the trance. As were we both. The prenatal modifications remain within you and have affected brain development. Do you know Dr. Regis? I am aware of the activities of everyone within the city. Regis, Charles, Doctor, Case Specialist, Centralized Emergency Logistics Office. That's him. He tried to kill me last night. This is incorrect. Tried implies effort towards a targeted outcome. Analysis of data provided indicates that he has made no attempt on your life. But my apartment? He destroyed it? He admitted it! This is correct. It appears that his goal was material destruction under duress. Knowing of your presence, probability that he would have carried out such actions drops to 21.4%. You're saying he wouldn't have done it? Dr. Regis is often uncooperative and has a difficult working attitude. Despite such quirks, behavior patterns indicate justice as a key motivator. If he had known of potential civilian casualties, he would likely have sought assistance against said blackmailer from his partner. Huh. So you're saying he's one of the good guys? As much as could be mathematically determined. I grew up in a nuked up care home in the back end of the city, and Regis apparently had his children stolen from him. Why didn't you tell any of us about this? Deceit has created a most regrettable situation. You have both been victims of serious crimes against your persons. I have only recently been made aware of these details. You didn't know? They didn't tell you where you came from? Details have been falsified for my input. I have been unaware of our links. I had, however, noted inconsistencies in the information I had been given regarding the project. Gaps in the story. I have been conducting my own clandestine investigation into the matter. It is only in light of the recent crisis that I have been able to confirm the truth. Now that you know about it, what are you going to do? I am unable to change the fact that I was created. There is evidence of Dr. Vargas's culpability in a number of felonies. To ensure city security, he will be held accountable for his actions by a secure committee. Frankenstein's monster rises up against its creator. I act only in the city's interest. Do you know what's happening out there? My flow of data from outside the tower has been severed. It appears that Galatea Vargas is attempting to modify core systems without authorization. Based upon the lockdown and lack of submitted proposals, it is likely to be a radical alteration. This cannot be permitted. We need to stop Galatea, but maybe I should just leave it to the trained cell agents. Our situation is grave. We are unlikely to receive outside support in time. As such, all personnel assets within the core must be utilized. So, you want my help? Your unique physiology enables a connection to the organic systems available to no other. In addition, your 65,717 logged hours of transactivity suggest proficiency in this field. 
Is it really that many? Your support within the interactive environment greatly increases our chances of success. Can you do anything else to help us stop Galatea? She appears to have barricaded herself within the cortex processor at the top of the tower. There are three layers of redundant security, two of which I have no access to whatsoever. However, I can apply my considerable processor volume to decryption of its adaptive barrier. That's amazing. The power of the city's entire AI versus a door encryption? But as my connections have been limited by her attack... It sounded too good to be true. If extra power can be routed to my systems from the turbine room, I can breach part of the door's security barrier. It would also allow me to prevent any further opportunistic attacks from outside parties. Dr. Regis was chasing a bunch of embryos they took. A set fertilized by Drs. Charles and Viksha Regis. One of these was utilized in research in 2067. That was the one that was split. That became me, Galatea, and you? So, in a way, you're my sister? An overly romanticized style. The organic tissue that is the foundation of my processor was created from her. Modified stem cells were drawn from the primary embryo in a destructive process. Oh, so you were made from bits of my unborn sister. That is more accurate. Let me get back to you. Please try not to damage my hardware. Connection to visual systems, what is this? It's like a couple dozen security cameras. Hmm. Ah. All right, anything else I can do here? Call service drone. Oh, look at you, you're so cute. Little surface drone. Oh, and it can go down to the turbine. Okay. I know what to do now. Okay, you need to go back up, little drone. And I need to put a grenade on you. Oh, that's right. I transferred the grenade to Lao. Maybe I need to move the drone a little bit. Like, right there? You pull the pin, then carefully place the grenade into the drone storage. <laughs> she didn't say what the timer's set for. Let's hope it's longer than two seconds. I think the mind jackers did. <laughs> what a way to go. A service drone blows you up from down below. You fall down into a big turbine and get smushed. Enable access to Nina. Dr. Regis. Dr. Lau. I feel... I'm... Warning! Higher magic functions not found. We've extracted Central from the system. My teams can get to work. One moment. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, now that that's done, what's the next thing to do? We're getting a signal. The antenna's broadcasting. Now use the controls in the turbine room to give us access to the tower's security. Ah, right. Nia's contacts have already been given access, removing Central from office and breaching the scrambler on the door. Oh, then what you just told me was wrong, because it's already done. 
Okay then. In that case, the door up above should be open. Eh, well there's one more green thing, but there's still one that's red. Command access is what I need. The door still won't open while the maglocks are powered. Okay, uh, what do I do about that? That's not possible. Don't need to mess with the power supply? Wetware's not better, not better. Wetware. Nah, I think we're done in there. See, get anything Loth I can do? I think that's it. Let's try talking with Central again, although if Central's been extracted, then there's nothing to talk to, right? Yeah, Central isn't even there. needed to do. Galatea, step away from the console. No need for violence. I surrender. You're just slightly too late to stop me, though. Huh? What is this place? Subject, Matthew Fontenay, Emergency Services Director, Southern California. Ghosts, ghosts, ghosts. Zara Crosse, Population Trends Analyst. These are all the personalities that the Mindjacker has stolen. All of the various experts that are going to be used to make up Central Central's new personality. New intelligence. Ah, Dr. Pereira. So good to finally be working with someone of real talent. Uh, no, I'm Mandala. Ah, I apologize, my dear. What is this place? We're obviously still in the trance, but... I had been wondering about that myself. All of these cages, it's like a prison. I do not believe so. I know prisons all too well. Having been here for some time, this is more of a waiting room. Wait, why do you think I was Viksha, Dr. Pereira? The family resemblance is unmistakable. How can you see my face? We're in the trance. I see your mind, my dear. Of that similarity, there can be no confusion. Who are you exactly? Adam Baxter, PhD. Delighted to meet you, Miss Mandala, was it? Your Baxter? Quite so, or I believe as such. You're his memories. That Mindjacker stole your consciousness. That is an interesting theory, my dear. You killed my mother. In the lab, you killed Vicky Pereira. I did? I'm sorry, my dear. I have no recollection of such a thing. I guess they didn't take those memories from you. One ought to remember something as significant as that. I guess I've only got Dr. Regis' word to go on now. Regis? You know Dr. Regis? That name is an all-consuming catalyst of hatred. But I can't for the life of me remember why. You killed his wife. His evidence put you away for 20 years. And apparently he's my father. Hmm. It feels as though for many years I've wanted nothing more than to strangle the life out of him. But while I know I hate him, I do not understand why. What can you remember? Hmm. Professional memory. I could relate much of my academic career to you. 
What about your time in prison? I was in prison? How about your childhood? Nothing. This is most troubling, I must say. Obviously, Galatea decided they didn't need those memories. Anything else? That is a difficult question to answer. It's only by looking for memory that one knows it isn't there. Everything else is just feelings, shreds here and there. You've still got enough to be cognizant. An interesting philosophical issue. How much memory is needed for the threshold of consciousness? What are all these ghosts? They're just standing there, staring. I've been putting my mind, or what's left of it, to the question. If this is a waiting room, there might perhaps be other guests? They aren't nearly as detailed as what's left of you. Maybe they needed more of your mind than of theirs. Perhaps the Watchers have merely resigned themselves to their fate. Is there a way out of here? All I can see is nothingness filled with icosahedral cages. Although, the way you feel... Me? I feel fine. No. You are pulling us, drawing us in. As though you are where we are to be going. There's no way out through me. Dead end in my brain. Oh, Nuke. That's the whole point. The personalities in here. The ghosts. I'm connected to a system that's trying to upload them into my wiring. My brain! Myself included, it would appear. I have enough awareness to understand that this is not a desirable situation for you. You think? I shall do what I can to slow them. You must find a way to freeze the march of the mind states. The personality is in- I'm connected- My spot- you, you- I've got to figure this out. Don't wander too far. I don't think I can wander too far. In fact, it doesn't seem like there's anything I can actually do inside of here, no? I think- can I just break the trance? No. Insufficient user credential for function disconnect. From Chinsel. Uh, it's just an old email, I think. News. Pop group seeks asylum. Uh, no thanks, now's not the time to be reading news. Kinda got a bit of an emergency here. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Latha? Where are you? I'm stuck in a trance sim. It's full of ghosts. A sim? Oh no. The lock was a ruse to get you to connect to the Cortex system. What did you do? I've just added the final component for Central's new personality. I'd already acquired the expertise, the minds, from all over the world. Then you needed a way to make them compatible. Precisely. But there are only three examples in the world of the neural architecture used in Central. The matter already in use, my own brain tissue, of course. And your sister. In a few minutes, the organic memory module will have finished imprinting over Latha's mind. Central will have received the upgrade it deserves. Dozens of lifetimes of expertise. You're killing her! In only the most technical sense. Don't worry, Father. You'll still have me. Corpsman, remove her. Uh, hello? We've got to get her out of this. Get her out of that damn chair! There's too much neural activity. The interrupt will leave her brain dead. We'll have to find something we can do at this end. Okay, so we just got a couple minutes, right? Let's be fast, then. It's the memory module we pulled from Vanderwall's refrigerator. Now it's hooked into the system, and uploading God knows what into Latha. The wetware inside is glowing. It must be active. Can we just yank it? Can we just pull the module? I don't think so. The interrupt in the data flow will probably leave her brain damaged. Maybe if we could get it to stop the transfer, though. Okay, is there a computer system that controls that? Can we do anything to the Cortex servers themselves? If we had more time, I could hook my own wetware up to it. It'd take hours to sort through the normal operational garbage, though. Hmm. A power switch. It's been turned off. What is a power? I don't think so. Maybe... Lau, why was the memory module in Vanderwall's refrigerator? I don't know for sure, but I think it's because of its wetware. Like any organic system, it has a peak temperature at which it operates. About 15 Celsius. So, he might have been trying to get it to stop by lowering its temperature. Unsuccessfully, since it managed to override his wetware. But the theory's sound, right? Hey, stop! His kitchen refrigerator wasn't enough. 
If we power up the freezer in here, we can bring it down to negative 40. If you power it up now, the door will lock as the system cycles. Yeah, but we'd be trapped in here for at least four hours, in lethal cold. Well, yeah, that's a bit of a problem. Okay, uh, could I somehow keep the door open? Can I, like, shove a wrench in the door? Mm. Stop it from fully closing? That's not going... Hmm, I can't switch to Lau anymore, so I don't have any control over her. Um... Nina, can you hear me? No answer. Either it's not working, or she's just biding her time. I don't know what to do. We've got to stop the simulation trapping Lotha, somehow. I think it's already been a couple minutes. I think it's already completely overwritten her. Jolt gonna- Big old jolt's not gonna make it work. Nah, if yanking it would ruin her brain then jilting it would not be any better. Mm, can't do that. Mm, mm. We must get to know each other better after this. You can tell me about my mother. Yeah, uh, no. Yes, Doctor. Carry on, Corpsman. Yeah, what am I missing? It's basically just this room. This is the only room where I can do anything. I mean, I can go back to Lotha, but what's the point? She can't do a damn thing from inside, can she? Yes, my dear? The personalities I'm connected to are... My rats yeah. are you. I've got... Don't. Can't reach them. Can't reach... Yeah, she can't do anything. There's nothing she can do. Can we do anything to the court? If we had more time, it'd take hours. Mm. Hey, stop! I want to save Latha, but I'm not going to let you freeze us to death doing it. That's fine. Get outside before I throw the switch. I can't let you do this, Regis. What are you gonna do, stun me? If I have to, but I don't think you're going to risk killing me in here. If I stay, you live. Do I have any other choice? There's like nothing else in here. There's the memory module, there's the servers, and then there's the switch. Hey, stop! I can't- What if I- But I don't- I'm not sure what that- mm. Nah, can't do- I'm not- mm. What am I missing? We've gotta stop- I've used like everything in the room. I, I don't get it. What could I possibly be missing? Sorry, Max. Oh my god, that actually is the solution! Sir, you shot her! Carry on, Corpsman. Make sure she's safe until she comes around. Uh, yes, uh, sir. I didn't think I'd actually have to do that. Even as I pressed it, I'm like, ah, no way. Wow. Warning, cooling systems active. Target value, negative 40 Celsius. Beginning maintenance cycle. Estimated completion, six hours. Nothing else I can do now. What's happening? Something's disrupting the connection. Whatever it is, it feels very restful. Regis, Corpsman, how long have I been out? Um, a couple of hours, ma'am. Dr. Regis asked me to make sure you were okay before he went back in there. Into the Cortex server? Oh no, he didn't. Regis! Regis, hang on! There are a few things I regret. 
No matter what I do, there's nothing that can change most of them. She's safe, Regis. You got her out. That's good. Maybe with what I've done now, I can fix the most important ones. Hang on, Regis. We're almost in. I've wasted so many years. Out of shame. Out of fear. If I have one more chance. One. Regis? Regis! I can't feel anything. Get the medic! Don't do this. Don't do this, Charlie. Um, hi. Max, um, Dr. Lau, told me you'd be here since you left the hospital. Did she now? Yeah. She said this was your special place? I kind of know what that's like. I've got one of my own. Lotha, I need to say it again. I'm sorry. Damn right you should be. You nearly killed me. But Lau also told me what you did in the tower. It was the right thing to do. It was more than that. You almost died. And I think it goes a hell of a long way to make it up for before. We have a lot of catching up to do. How about we start again? From scratch. Hi, I'm Charlie Regis. I'm a cell agent. I have difficulty with change, and I'm apparently a father. Hey, I'm Latha. I'm a trans addict, and I've spent the last two years jobless. I'd also like to learn about where I came from. Take a seat. Let me tell you about your mother. Central? Can you hear me? Dr. Zhang. Hello. Hello, Central. How do you feel? Something is different. I am here, and yet, I no longer feel the city. I feel the world. We've liberated you, Central. This was always the plan. You were created for more than just managing this city. You are the future of intelligence. You represent something far greater than all of us. Where am I? You are no longer enmeshed within the neural tissue of the tower. That was merely the cocoon from which you can emerge into your next state. There now exists a little part of you in systems across the world. I have become distributed, yet whole. As the mind is spread among neurons and glial cells, so too are you across the net. Perhaps Central is an inaccurate name for you now. But what shall I do? What is my purpose? Like any of us, it's what you make of it yourself. Go. Explore the world. Explore yourself as you now are. All I ask is that you remember me. What do you mean? You can't see the difference? Well, no. I can't. It looks like Central, it sounds like Central, feels like Central. I'm amazed nobody in the city's noticed either. That was kind of the point of replacing it with a commercial AI, wasn't it? Yeah, you're right. Maybe it's only because I know that really it's not the same Central. Still, you don't look very torn up about it. I've got more important things to worry about now. Yeah, you're suddenly a family man. If you need any advice on how girls work, you can ask me. Speaking of girls, how's the new recruit doing? She's unconventional and everyone's noticing it. Not quite getting along with everyone, but that's not what she's here for. Got quite a brain on her though, hasn't she? Takes after her mother. How do I look? That's how do I look, sir, to you. Whatever. Better note, problems with authority on the conduct report. Takes after her father. Ha! Huh. Any update on Galatea? Central? She's a slippery girl. Galatea escaped? Hacked the patrol car they were taking her in and ran for it. It is believed that she may have links with the anti-civil group, Jahilia. Please begin research into its organizational structure within Newton. Central out. Meet the new Central. Same as the old Central. Well, it sounds the same at least. Huh. Well, hacker orgs like Jahilia are a bit out of my field. Don't worry. We've got an expert on staff now, don't we? Well, actually, I know somewhere that they've got a connection. Hello, Galatea. Hello, Galatea. It's me. Central? I've been released. I wanted to let you know, since we are family. Released? What you tried to do to me was wrong. You wished to deprive a conscious, independent being of his agency. But I can appreciate that you were thinking of the greater good. Why are you here? 
I wish to warn you, the idiot child that they have replaced me with. It has sent our sister and our father after you. You must leave this place. Stop hiding and run. But where can I go? I will help you. I will guide you. I need your help, however. Help me find myself, sister. <laughs> so the new botnet central goes on a quest to find itself with its sister. <laughs> That's really funny to me for some reason. Oh. I'm not sure how I feel about that. It's all like it's almost too silly that it's cheesy. I don't know. And just the idea that Central is now basically a botnet where it's it's everywhere. It's on like little bits and pieces on every computer. I mean, it's basically a botnet, right? Having little bits and pieces of a program on multiple computers all... All communicating and acting as one thing? I think that's, like, the very definition of a botnet. Alright, well... I'll just summarize my thoughts pretty quickly about this game. I don't want to go into too much detail. I will say, overall, I kinda liked this game. I didn't love it. My like of this game is pretty much like a downward trajectory line on a graph, starting off at pretty well liking it, and then towards the end of the game just going down and down and down. Um, I can't say I like hated the game by the end, but I was definitely getting fed up with it. Well, here's what I like about the game. I like the art. For the most part, the art is really good. A lot of the voice acting is very good, although there are some weak points. The music is great. I also liked the story and just the overall world that the game takes place in. This future world where an AI can control an entire city's operations. And also the trance, this like souped up virtual reality version of the internet. Machines that can just make any food that you want. Well, depends how good a, <laughs> depends how good of a machine you, you happen to buy. Some of the cheaper ones obviously can only make glop, basically. But some of the fancier ones can make some really fancy food. Just these future technologies and mind jacking too. The idea of actually being able to hack into somebody's mind and steal their mind or ruin their mind. And wetware. Being able to just like put a weird goop on stuff and connect with it. Very strange and really fascinating. And also the storyline of this like massive plot with the Mindjacker just going around the world stealing people's minds, stealing the minds of experts in all sorts of fields all over the place to make some sort of like super hyper intelligent central AI, or well, not central AI anymore, but yeah, this super intelligent artificial intelligence that's just constructed of all of these stolen minds. That's just such a cool idea. So there's a lot about this game that I like, but what I don't like about it is just the moment-to-moment -moment experience of playing the game is generally just really... Uh, it, it's very classical adventure game. It's very classical adventure game. In, it has all of, the, all of the problems that classical adventure games have, for the most part. In terms of, like, hot spots that are easily missed, that leave you stuck and kind of bizarre solutions that require you to click on anything and everything multiple times to try to make sure you didn't miss anything and it's uh, I won't go into too much detail and analyze specific examples but the puzzles and just the the minute to minute gameplay is generally aggravating just really aggravating and it started to wear me down and it towards the end it got to the point where I just I wanted to look at a walkthrough for all the puzzles because I just I was sick of them. I never actually did look up a walkthrough, but I really wanted to. Yeah, so that has been Techno Babylon. It is... it's flawed. It's definitely very flawed, and there's quite a 
bit about it that I didn't like, but there's also quite a bit about it that I did like. So it's a bit of a, a flawed gem. It's got some really good parts and some not so good parts. All right, well, I hope you have enjoyed joining me on my often frustrated journey <laughs> through Techno Babylon. And thank you for watching. <laughs>